brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by Three Piece Tea. Here's another episode from the 2015 College World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the NFCA's All-American uh, Press Conference. Um, with us today are six young ladies that have achieved first team All-American status this year. We have Ali Carta and Alexis Bennett from UCLA. Jordan Hawkins from Oregon, Lauren Chamberlain from Oklahoma, and Casey Cooper and Emily Carasoni from Auburn. At this time, I'd like to pass the mic to Carol Brogman, our Associate Executive Director, who has a few words. Thank you, Ryan. Welcome, everyone. Carol Brugeman, Associate Executive Director of the NFCA. And this press conference certainly isn't about me. It's about these young ladies up here. So congratulations to all of you. But I thought it was important to give you a little bit of background. Um, you know, it's just an honor for me to be here today to represent these young ladies as well as the coaches here at the Women's College World Series. The purpose of the NFCA is to support fast pitch softball coaches in their quest for excellence while uniting together to advance the sport we love. And one of the ways we fulfill this purpose is through our awards program. We're very excited to honor the outstanding athletic achievement among the softball student athletes by naming the All-Americans. But before we introduce you to some of these young ladies, I'd like to recap the process. We, we get asked a lot of questions about the process, so I thought I'd recap that for you. Division I schools are divided into 10 regions across the country. In late April, all Division I coaches can nominate up to eight players from their respective regions uh, for all region consideration. Division I coaches then vote for their respective regions by mid-May, and once a player earns all region status, they're eligible for all-American status. The Division I All-American and Coaching Staff of the Year Committee, which is a group of 10 elected head coaches from across the country, they represent each one of those 10 regions. They completed the All-American voting on Monday at an in-person meeting here in Oklahoma City. So earning the title of an NFCA All-American is the highest award, uh, an individual award a Division I softball athlete can achieve. Just a few words uh, from, the from the press release. In all, there were 55 players from 28 different institutions that were selected to one of the three 2015 Division I NFCA All-American teams. The three conferences that are represented at this year's Women's College World Series had an impressive 39 of the 55 total selections, including 13 student athletes on the first team. In all, the Southeastern Conference led the way with 19, while the Pac-12 Conference racked up 13 nods, and the Big Ten came in with seven selections. Out of those 39 student athletes, 28 or 51% of the All-Americans will be stepping on the field here at ASA Hall of Fame Stadium. Michigan and LSU led the country with five total selections to the prestigious squads, while Alabama and UCLA guarded four each. Five programs, Florida, Oregon, Auburn, Oklahoma, and Arizona, had three All-American selections. Georgia, Louisiana Lafayette, and James Madison rounded out the schools that picked up multiple selections with two apiece. So again, I'd just like to thank you all for joining us here today at our NFCA press conference. And uh, at this point, I'd like to turn it back over to my colleague, Brian Stanley, who's going to uh, start the questioning for the student athletes up here. So congratulations, young ladies. Thank you, Carol. Um, congratulations, ladies. Um, and this is open to everybody. Um, really, what is it like to play against some of the ladies that you're sitting next to? Uh, today. I'll start. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it really is an honor, and it's really cool to see. Um, you know, I've played with a lot of them on different teams, not just in college. So it's really cool to see um, them do well. And when you get to the chance to play on the field with them and on the same team, um, in some cases I played with Lauren, um, and it's really cool to see them do well for your team and for um, their respective colleges. So it's just fun to get out there and compete against them. I know personally it makes me rise to the occasion when I'm playing on the same field as some of these guys, so um, I think it's just an appreciation to um, better each other and um, take our play to another level when we're on the field. For me, I think it's cool because I watched Oklahoma and Alabama play in the championship um, sitting at home in high school, and so actually having almost the opportunity to play against Lauren Chamberlain and uh, some of the girls like Ali Carter, you know, I grew up watching them, and so it's really cool to actually play against them and to be a competitor against them. Okay, one more. Um, just talk about maybe what was the most memorable moment you've had in your career, and even if it was just this season. 
I'll start. I think the most memorable moment was um, we're saying goodbye to our field. Um, and to win a, to go out with a win and you know clinch our ticket to the College World Series was probably the most memorable moment um, that I've had this year. Um, for for me, it was probably um, either beating Arizona State or winning the SEC championship. It was just an awesome feeling, and with Arizona, uh, it was a close game and great competition. And SEC was an incredible feeling. It was an awesome feeling winning. Uh, championship. Um, for me, um, and on behalf of UCLA, it's also the wall of champions that we unveiled in fall, just showing the history of our program and being able to walk up to Easton Stadium and seeing our history each and every day, and it's beautiful, and it just adds more just to the stadium and the experience. Thank you, ladies. Um, I'd like to open up the uh, questions now. Uh, please state your name, affiliation, and who you're addressing your question to. Dana Salone in Opelika, Auburn News. For Emily and Casey, this is the first time in Auburn history that you guys, that the team has put out two first teamers in the same year. Just talk about another first for you guys and getting to do it together and what that really means for you guys and the program. Um, it's obviously a great, it's great to be recognized, um, but I think both of us realize that it takes all of our team and there's 24 other girls on our team that it takes to get here and we're, it's not about individual, it's about the team. I agree, it's, uh, people see us however it takes, all 25, you know, Kira's always on the other end of the diamond for me and she's always there with the bad threads, they come up with awesome plays. Uh, used to tell her that she should come up and her walkout song should be the ESPN da 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 da, -da because I've never seen as many great plays as she puts out at second base. Um, and it just shows how much dedication and commitment that not only um, the players have to Auburn, but also our coaches to us. Uh, Cliff Brown from the Associated Press, this is for Lauren. Uh, now that your season and your career are over, can you put the 95 home runs into perspective now? Uh, it still it still kind of hits me in waves that uh, that happened, but um, it's just a testimony to the type of players that I've been surrounded by for four years that have allowed me to get those at bats to get those home runs. Um, again, just talking about the type of athletes that I've been around that raise my play and my level of play, and um, it, I've always said that if there's something I'm chasing, I want to get it. So it was it was fun for me. It was fun. Uh, this is for Alexis and Allie, um, Greg Eklund from the Oregonian. Can you talk about the challenges of facing Sheridan when you're in the batter's box? Um, she, yeah, obviously she's a great, great pitcher. We faced her um, quite a few times in the past few years. And um, credit to her in Oregon. She's, they're a great team, great hitting team. And um, she's a great pitcher. It's always tough hitting off her. And being a pitcher, I know, um, you know, it's tough both ways. Kind of, I have a pitcher and hitter mindset when I go up there. So it's definitely tough, but i um, excited for her tomorrow and see where it goes. Alexis? Um, I totally agree with Allie, uh, great opponent in Oregon, and Sheridan's a great pitcher, and um, every day is a new day, and it's just going to be getting on the diamond and playing the game of softball, so whatever happens, happens. Anybody else? I'll take it again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sheridan, what do you remember most about facing UCLA earlier this year? Um, you know, UCLA is a really great team, and they're really great players, and uh, I think when you play UCLA, you have to come with your best game. They have a very strong lineup, and they're very, uh, you know, a sound program. So I think, you know, it's just playing Oregon softball and trying to do what we do best. But at the same time, you have to respect them as a program and and know what they can do, and just, you know, like they said, just play softball tomorrow. Does anybody else have any questions? Well, again, congratulations, lady, and uh, thank you for your time today. <laughs>My name is Andrea Durant. I'm a two-time national champion with UCLA, a two-time world champion with the USSA Florida Pride, and a 2008 U.S. silver medalist with Team USA. I believe that the three-piece tee is a great tool, whether you're just starting out playing softball or you're a U.S. Olympian. 
because everybody needs balance in their swing because balance is power.